Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video and if you're into Hux World, today we're gonna to show you how to get the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 4, your Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, and a few easy steps. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead, let's get started. All right, you all, let's go ahead, let's get started. Now, these are some easy steps. Just follow everything that I do. You can go step by step as you watch the video if you choose to, okay? So with that being said, we haven't installed this one on the Galaxy Watch 4 yet, so this is gonna be brand new. Now, there's gonna be two links I need for you to download. One is gonna be a link to download the Google Assistant. Uh, the link will be in the description box down below. So will the link for the easy fire tool that's going to be in the description box right you need to download that one from the google play store all right so with that being said let's go ahead let's get started with the watch itself now first you want to go to settings you can go to settings by here going here just swipe up and you got settings or you could just go ahead and drop the screen you should be able to go to settings there we're going to type on settings and then we're going to go all the way down till we see about watch and then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll until we see software Tap on software and we're gonna go to software version. Just keep tapping until you see developer mode turned on. Once you get here, go ahead, go back. We're gonna go back a couple of times and then you're gonna see developer's option. So when you get to developer's option, you're gonna come here and what I need for you to do is turn on ADB debugging. Okay, and then I need for you to turn on ADB debugging over Wi-Fi. Okay, now it should have came up with the IP address, right? So I'm going to scroll up, scroll back down, and sometimes it'll come up. And here it is right here. So these numbers you're going to have to put into the Easy Fire tool, and we're going to show you that right now. This next step is very easy. Remember where we had debug, where we were at debug over Wi-Fi? The numbers you need to put in is these numbers. Forget the five, the colon and the five do not put in with that two ends. That's where you want to stop at. All right. So then we're going to go to the easy fire tool, right? We're going to tap on it. We're going to go ahead and go here and tap on settings where you see IP address. You want to tap on that and you want to put in your IP address right there. It's got to be the address. As you can see, no colons, no fives. Tap OK going to go back out now you want to select file right if you don't see it just hit right there uh, and then you're going to see Google Assistant tap on Google Assistant and then also now tap there now what we need to do is we need to go through this process you're going to see where it says continue all right I'm going to hit continue and now I need to go to the watch now you're going to see where it says allow debugging go ahead and then now it should go right through all right, so I'm connected, as you can see, and I think we're all easy to go. You can hit install and hit yes, uh, and it's going to sideload it. Okay, now this process, sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's slow. So you got to be patient, okay? So once this is done, then we'll be all good, and the Google Assistant will be on your smartwatch. All right, now it's loading. It's going to take a while. It's it took about five minutes for this one. Again, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. Now what this is going to do is going to download it to your Galaxy Watch 4 or your Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. So let's let this continue to right, transfer. Well, we finally got it all downloaded. Now you got to be patient because this can take anywhere from five to eight minutes to download, right? That means it's not going to show up in your app drawer uh, right away. And now we have it. It's going to show up down at the bottom and that's what the icon is going to look like. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna press and hold because if you wanna make this convenient, if you're gonna be going into the app drawer, you can put it here, right there at the top. So now, when you come to it, it's very easy to get to. Tap on your Google Assistant and give it the commands you need to give it. Now, if you wanna make it convenient in another way, you can go ahead and swipe down or you can go into your app drawer as well. Me, I like to swipe down uh, to get to mine. You're gonna look for advanced features and then of course you want to go ahead and you want to scroll down till you see custom keys and then you want to press uh double press here for the google assistant uh and then you're going to be in there tap on assistant and then now we're good to go let's go to the home and let's quickly double press and voila there you go google assistant let's see what it says you know, 
See, there we go. So that's nice, right, to have it on there. So there's a couple of commands you could do. You could send text message, which I'm not going to be able to do on here. I'm not going to be able to make a phone call because it's going to shut down uh, my recording, right? So, but those are a couple of things that you're going to do. Now, with the phone call, you are going to be able to make the phone call from the watch, but it's going to activate it on your smartphone, not on the watch. So that may be a downside, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. But you will be able to send text messages as well. Let's tap on here and give it a couple of commands. What's the weather today? How far am I away from work? What's six times six? Six times six is thirty-six. Am I a superstar? Here's an answer from YouTube. And it should take you to YouTube, but it that does not work. Tell me a joke. Why did the cookie go to the hospital? Because it felt rubbery. <laughs> But that's going to be it, guys. That's how you download the Google Assistant onto your Galaxy Watch 4 and your Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. I'm telling you, I love it. Uh, this makes uh, having an assistant on your watch is better than Bixby. So if you want something that's going to be worth having, then go ahead, download this onto your Galaxy Watch 4 and your Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. All right, you all, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you hit the like button before you leave, smash that notification bell, and whatever you do, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Enjoy life, have some fun you all, and remember to remember, please be safe.